Hi everyone. In today's video I want to talk to you about how you can use and create your own correspondences for magic and manifestation. So a lot of people are familiar with correspondences that already exist for like in astrology for the planets there will be like different uh, metals that are associated with them, different colors, planets associated with the, the different chakras, all of that, right? And so what you can do here is take something brand new or something not strongly connected and turn it into a correspondence or turn it into an anchor and it'll have a particular meaning and a particular effect in your reality and also anyone else around you who starts to pick up on it then it'll have that effect on them but at first it'll be like your own unique thing and so like if several people practice this together they can build it stronger and faster because you're like reinforcing it with like the attention of several people. So I'll give you a couple examples and then the implications that came from you know these experiences coming up for me. So my first example is my first video on this channel I talked about a manifestation experiment where I use the Kubera Gayatri mantra to manifest as many uh, cardinal birds as I could. I did this because I had no particular uh, strong emotional attachment to cardinal. I, I like the birds. I thought it'd be fun to try and see what happens. So what I started doing was the Kubera Gaia tree as many times as I could every day when I'm driving or whatever. I'm just, I'm, I'm always going over it. And when I do, in my mind's eye, I would have an image of a cardinal and I just put as much energy into that as I could. And then when I'm done, I just forget about it and I just keep repeating this every day and within several weeks I was seeing more cardinals in a single day than I would normally see all year and then by the end of the summer I saw by far more cardinals over the course of like three or four months than I had seen in my entire life combined before that so it had a huge effect the effect is still more or less ongoing it's not quite as strong now because I don't put attention on it but it still has like residual effects so in addition to that I had a dream early this spring where I believe I was lucid in the dream and I looked in the backyard of this house that I was in and I saw hundreds of cardinals uh, on the, in the backyard and in the middle there was this one giant cardinal that was like five or six feet tall and it was you know radiating a lot of energy and what I believe it was was either like the archetype or the I don't know god form of a cardinal if you you know think there is such a thing because I wouldn't know what to call it I've never heard of any god that has the form of a cardinal but it, it seemed to be like almost like the super form of a cardinal and after that I felt that cardinals have sort of become one of my spirit animals from seeing that it made me ask okay did me you know doing this exercise cause the cardinal to become a spirit animal for me or was it always going to be and that led me to take the actions that I took so what you can see from events like this and this is what you start to get from correspondences is that neither is necessary depending on your perspective the actual cause of the other so they're both true from one perspective and from another like you could say neither are true or it doesn't matter because they're you know from another level there's no time anyways it's just that both events are connected so this is what you start to get with the correspondence. It's, it's a strong uh, emotional connection and there's, there's repetition till you build up the associations just like you do with um, like mnemonics when you're memory training. You build up a strong association over time and then you can recall things quickly. So this is what you're doing to your perception and reality. You build up a correspondence between one thing and usually something that you want to desire or manifest repeatedly and then you, you pick whatever anchor it can be visual, auditory, whatever, and you tie them together through repetition and emotion. And if you have trouble coming up with something, you know, totally new, you can pick something that has a looser general connection, and then for you, give it a more specific connection through uh, emotional tie and then repetition of whatever the action is. So the the cardinal thing worked really well for that, and that's something that's getting stronger and easier over time, and you know what else I found is now whenever I use the Kubera Gaia tree cardinals will show up very quickly or whoever I have a wealth thing uh, come up or, or some prosperity manifestation whatever I'll see cardinals 
So I do the Kubera Gaia tree even when I'm not thinking of cardinals, and a lot of the times the cardinals will show up now, like a disproportionately large amount. And uh, so it, it's really cool, and that's just a way where I, I just tweaked my reality. It's like totally different than it was. And so another example is my friend and I have noticed anytime we're discussing spirituality and we have one of those spiritual aha moments where we have a breakthrough in our understanding that we'll hear a siren go off really loudly in the background. And sometimes it's so sudden and so loud it sounds like there's a cop car like right outside his house or mine and someone just fires up the siren right then because it's pretty ridiculous. And in this case this was a manifestation that he had first, I believe, and he started talking to me about it. And he's like, hey, did you ever notice that this seems to happen? And, uh, so I think he started suspecting something was happening. And then after that, I started paying attention and it started happening more for me or I started recognizing it. So I think this is more of a case of he had this perception and this uh, tweak to reality first and that I kind of absorbed his perception just from being around it and interacting with him enough so but it had the same effect so now anytime we have a big breakthrough very quickly or if we want like feedback like you want some type of answer like with you know like you get an answer with divination or something like that like you're, you're doing tarot cards and you, you get a really strong answer you're like oh of course that's what that means so it's the same emotional feeling and connection when the siren goes off it's almost identical it's like anytime we want like feedback from the flow we would hear the siren go off and that would be our answer. So what you can see from this is you can pretty much use anything and you can have any intended effect. So it's it's only a matter of how clever and creative can you get with you know tying this together and anchoring it in your own reality. But if you look at uh, my previous video where I'm talking about um, changing your reality by using the karma as anchors, well this is the same thing it's just instead of karma you're creating some new anchor for yourself that's very visual, something that, that works for you. And so you start to see it a lot and you can pull on that and you know you have it tied to the thing you want to manifest or like a repeated uh, behavior you want to see in your environment. You just pull on that whenever you want that action to take place and then somehow it'll come through. So uh, this is similar in some ways to like when people create their own sigils with you know intended effects and stuff. But yeah, you can use, you know, just about anything and it's really fun to see the effects of. So you can use things that already exist and you can even come up with brand new combinations. Like you can use, uh, like if you use correspondences to the planets or you can use religious ones, you can use anything. You can even use like um, things associated with the seasons. Just about any symbol you can think of and you can tweak it and make it your own. And you can tie it to what you want to manifest in your environment. So think of it as you're pulling on strings of your reality. And so you just want to do like minor tweaks and not do something ridiculous and cause some dumb effect. And in the beginning, you wouldn't be able to do that anyways because you have to kind of kind of grow and experience and power. So you want to just do little things to make your life in some area like a little bit more smooth sailing. And so you, you do that and it's kind of cool to see these effects play out. So I think I covered everything and... Uh, I hope this video was helpful to you and I'll do some more videos soon where I go into extensions on, on even this and how it you know ties to some of the things I talked about before. And so I'm going to try and build like a, a series of videos where each idea will build on the last so that you can use them together and you know get bigger effects you know for whatever it is you're trying to do in your life. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.